right, so welcome. My name is Chris Nielsen, and this is going to be a video on how to set up your preferences in Adobe Illustrator Creative Cloud 2020. So I've started up my version of Illustrator. I've got my basic work screen right here. And the first thing I would recommend always is you go to Window Menu, Workspace, and you'll notice you have two Essentials workspaces. Okay, the difference between these two. Essentials is what I would recommend if you've been in, working in Illustrator for years and you kind of know where everything is. This is the one if you have previous experience. If you're somewhat new, I would choose Essentials Classic. This is the one that gives you all your previews and preferences and features right on the screen, right in front of your face. So I would go to Window, Workspace, Essentials Classic. And you can see I've got a little layers panel that's separated from when I was doing previous work. Okay, this is not your essential space. So what you have to do is go back to your window menu again. Window, workspace, and reset Essentials Classic. That is going to put all your panels back where they belong. It's going to reset your toolbox over here. Now what I would recommend is right here you get your properties and your libraries panel you're not going to be using those when you're somewhat beginning in Adobe Illustrator because again properties is kind of quick shortcuts to features that have been around in Illustrator for a while so I'm going to click this little double arrowhead up here and collapse those two panels but you will be using these panels so I'm going to click the double arrowhead and expand those Okay, over on the left, instead of going with a really long vertical toolbar, which is going to make things kind of difficult to find, especially if I'm doing a lecture, I don't want to say click the 15th tool down. So I'm going to click this double arrowhead, go with a shorter two column toolbox right there. Okay, this is basically the appearance of your workspace on screen. And now what we have to do is set up the kind of behind the scenes stuff, the preferences, the engine under the hood if you want. So I'll go to Illustrator menu, preferences, and general. Now in every program there are going to be a ton of preferences. Most of them are just defaults that you can just leave alone. So I'm really going to go over the ones that affect the way students work in my classes. Okay, so on your general preferences, I'm going to keep all this information the same right here the only one I'm going to look at is over here on the right there is an advanced feature called double click to isolate so again if you've been using Illustrator for years you probably know what that does if you don't know what it does or you've never worked in Illustrator I would absolutely turn that off okay in another video I'll show what that does but if you're new turn it off what I would recommend is the bottom four check marks, okay? Especially scale, strokes, and effects. If you have an outline on an object and you make the object bigger, the outline will get bigger. Or if you have a 10 point stroke and you scale an object down, the stroke will scale down to a thinner amount. So this you absolutely need to turn on kind of going along with that if you have corners or rounded corners you want to scale your corners and if you use patterns in the future you want to transform your patterns okay then you click um, well don't click OK yet because we have other preferences here I wish they had a next button over here but they don't so I'm gonna come over here selection and anchor display and basically all of these again are defaults you want to look at the one at the bottom there's a brand new feature that came out with illustrator creative cloud called the rubber band feature and what it is supposed to do is show you a preview of what your curves are going to look like before you even draw them and it never works right so i'm going to turn both of these check marks off Illustrator has worked fine without the rubber band for the last 20 plus years, so I'm going to turn that off. Doesn't help me. Okay, up here on type, again, all of these are your default settings except for the last two. These are new features that were added with Creative Cloud. 
So I don't want to show character alternates. Those are just little symbols that pop up on your screen. They tend to confuse new users. And more importantly, fill new type objects with placeholder text. Placeholder text is Latin text, like lorem ipsum is what they call it. So every time I click with my type tool, I'm going to get Latin type showing up, and then I got to type over it. So I'm just going to turn that off. Illustrator, again, has worked fine for the last 20 plus years without these features. So I'm going to turn them off. They don't help me. Okay, under units of information or units of measurement, general measurements, I recommend you set those to inches. So when you make a eight and a half by 11 page, you get eight and a half inches by 11 inches. Strokes or outlines are always measured as points. And more importantly, type is measured as points. So on your units, that should say inches, points, points. Under guides and grid, if you're gonna be using guides later on, I don't recommend this bright cyan. It just gets really hard to see on a white sheet of paper. So I'm gonna click that color bar and set my guides to red. I'm not gonna be showing you grids. I don't really work with those, but guides I do work with. And I want a color that's gonna be easily seen on the screen like red. Under smart guides, smart guides are what you use when you need to be really precise about movements and measurements. And again, that comes up as default with like a really bright color. So I'm going to go with a medium blue, a dark color that makes my smart guides easy to read on the screen. Now, personally, you can set up whatever guides you want. But what I personally use is I don't need all of these smart guides. I don't need construction, so I turn that off. I don't need transform tools, so I turn that off. What I don't need is spacing guides, and I don't need measurement labels. I really just use these three. Alignment guides help me to line things up on the page. Object highlighting, a smart guide will pop up and tell me when I'm on the edge of an object. And anchor points. So when I'm hovering right over an anchor point, tell me I'm on an anchor point. Those are the three that have worked the best for me. Okay, again, you can try all the others, but I recommend at least these three. We're not going to be doing slices. That's for web page design. I'm not going to be adding more words to the Adobe Illustrator dictionary. Um, plugins or additional programs and applications you can buy that add more features to Illustrator. And since I'm recording these videos, typically for a classroom situation, we don't use those anyway. Scratch disks is the uh, area where the computer applies the memory to run the program. And we only have a startup disk anyway, so there's nothing really to change on plugins or scratch disks. Your user face is default. It's gonna be a slightly darker color, which makes it easier on the eyes. Years ago, it used to be brighter. And years and years ago, it was this, but then people got eyesight problems. So over the years, they have dimmed it down to make it easier on your eyes. Okay, so that's default. If you've got a faster video card, Okay, mine is grayed out, but you can activate GPU performance, which just allows you to move and animate the uh, zoom feature with your zoom tool right here. You click and drag to the right with your zoom tool to zoom in, click and drag to the left with your zoom tool to zoom out. That's what animated zoom is used for. Obviously, I don't have a uh, upgraded video card, so I can't show that here. Okay, under file handling, there's nothing to change here. An appearance of black is more of a graphic design print feature, so I'll do another video on that in the future. But basically, when you come into Illustrator every time, you want to set up your preferences from general down to smart guides. The other half are pretty much defaults. Like I said, these applications come with a lot of preferences. Not everyone is what you're going to be needing. And there's minor changes anyway. So Go back and review this video for the general preferences, selection and anchor display, typically turning off the bottom two check marks. Type, turning off the bottom two check marks. Units are inches, points, and points. 
guides I set to red, smart guides I set to blue, and I activate these three smart guides. And that's pretty much it. When you click OK, you are ready to start in Adobe Illustrator.